Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, My child, I have called you from the womb, and you are mine. You did not choose me, but I chose you. Yes, chosen for the higher calling of priestly work, chosen to be a part of a holy people, to be my instrument to do my work and to speak out for me, to tell others of my goodness. It is I who brought you forth into this world and have carved your name in the palm of my hand. How can I ever forget you? Even when this world rejects you, I have approved you and accepted you. It is I who makes and creates nothing to something. So even when you feel alone at times and none seem to follow after me, yes, my child, I have called you, so follow after me. Remember this, my child. Your value doesn't decrease based on someone else's inability to see your worth. After all, it only matters how I see you, and it is only their misfortune. Therefore, don't worry about those that cannot see your value, for there is too much potential in you for you to settle for your present condition. So don't stop now, my child. For I am with you, and though things will change, I am there to be part of the process. My child, remember, breakthrough comes when you are persistent in knowing and believing in me for change. So continue to believe in that change, for there is victory with your name on it, and healing with your name on it, and new advancement in me for all things. Remember, my child, The heavens suffer in violence, but the violent take it by force. So be persistent in prayer, knowing that your breakthrough comes because I will make the impossible possible. If I created the heavens and the earth in six days, then who's to say I can't turn your life around, my child? So remain faithful, for greater things are yet to come. And even in this uncertainty, know that I am with you, know that I am for you. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 to 10, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, who once were not a people, but are now the people of God, who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Somebody say, hallelujah. See, we see that the apostle Peter here, he uses language that has been used to describe God's special relationship with Israel. As Israel was, we believers, the church, are also a chosen race. Unlike Israel, though, we are not a race in the sense of our family or our ethnicity or our skin color or our origin or country of origin. So when you become a Christian, you don't lose your racial distinctiveness, you become a part of a new transcendent race that's made of every race. It's not defined by ancestry or skin color, as I've said, but chosenness. It's defined by the fact that God chose you, that God chose me. See, now God calls his people from all races and creates a new race. We are a spiritual race in the sense that in Christ, 
we share a single spiritual father. So in that same meeting, we are a holy nation, a specific group of people called out and set apart from all other nations, precious saints. You have been called. I have been called. So Christians together are a royal priesthood. In Israel, under the law, one tribe was given the task of serving as priests, performing the duties of mediators between God and the rest of the nation. And very few held the honor and responsibility of actually coming into God's presence. It was only the high priest. But in and through Christ, the King, all believers are priests with direct access to our Father. And we need no other mediator because we need Jesus, hallelujah, the Son of God, the Messiah, Yeshua. Finally, God has formed this nation, this race, this priesthood to take possession of us. We are his people in a very real way. It's not just that we pledge our allegiance to him, but it's that he has taken ownership of us so therefore we belong to him precious saints maybe you've professed faith in christ but have found it difficult to even follow through maybe you're finding it hard to be a christian even right now if this is so let me remind you today you are a chosen race a royal priesthood a holy nation a people for his own possession. So when your love even for other Christians cools off, remember that you are all part of a chosen race. When deceit and hypocrisy and envy or something else sets into your life, remember that you're a royal priesthood. And when you lose taste, even for God's word, or find that you have begun to build your life on something else other than Jesus Christ, remember that you're a holy nation, a people for God's own possession. So therefore, declaring God's greatness is one reason for our very existence. When we praise him, we fulfill our purpose. He has called us out of darkness into a meaningful life with him. Precious saints, God has a purpose for your life. And even though you may not see it now because of the problems that are around you or the pressures of life or even the challenges or even the uncertainty of the future that is before us, precious saints, God is still for you and he has called us out of darkness and into his marvelous light. So you've got to learn to thank him and thank him for bringing also people around you that he will call to come and encourage you. So allow the Lord to give you the strength to share his light also with others who are lost, who are lonely, and who are hurting today. May the Lord be with you as we increase in him each day. Heavenly Father, I thank you for each person that is listening today. Come and touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet today. Bless them. Bless them. And Lord, we thank you for all blessings that come from you. We thank you for coming into our life and forgiving us for even for our sins. Lord, that we were once in darkness. Lord, with no way out, but you chose us and forgave us. We thank you for bringing us into the light also with your people. Help us to share that light with others today who are lost, who are lonely, and who are also hurting today. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you 
for each person today that you are also allowing us to walk in the light because you push that darkness even out of our hearts, stir in us a profound and a holy awe of being made part of your special people. Yes, Lord, as we are called to be priests and a part of your holy nation, a child belonging to you, your grace to save us from further demonstration of destruction that we see happening all around us. Lord, we desire to live for you and be part of your glorious purpose for each of our lives. We thank you, Father, for even including us as one of your chosen servants. Enable us in the power of your Holy Spirit and in the name of our Son, Jesus Christ, to be a good and faithful witness for you even within our earthly walk. Lord, let our actions be of your actions. Let us love the way you love. Let us hug the way you hug. Lord, let us have mercy as you show mercy. Let us show it also to those around us. Help us to forgive those that have offended us. And may you be glorified and exalted in our life and in all we say and do. And we pray, Lord, that you would also be with us today. Give us the strength to overcome every challenge. Be with each person. Heal them, deliver them, provide for them, and give them the strength and grace to continue on from this day forth. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Rumble or Facebook or Instagram. Precious Saints, we have the 10-day fast coming up in September from the 26th all the way to the 5th of October. We are joining in with the 10 days of awe. I encourage you to press in as we press into God. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom. 